Assalamu alaikum what's happening guys welcome to doctor technology today what i have with me is the asha 311 which i have uh, recently unboxed and uh, today i'm going to give a full review of this device mm, uh, the back panel i do like a lot but it is very fingerprint friendly uh, the camera is okay not too satisfied with the camera uh, other than that the hardware of the device is pretty solid uh, the device is pretty solid in the hand it won't fall off or um, it won't break easily and I like uh, the screen of the device a lot as you can see it is very flushed into the body and it looks very cool um, and looks very elegant also okay so other than that going inside this is the uh, wallpaper that we get now do remember we cannot install live wallpapers or animated wallpapers over here so this is how you unlock the device and uh, it is exactly same as 306 or 305 there is uh, nothing new over here in the menu that is we do have a uh, capacitive touch screen over here and a 1 gigahertz processor which does make the phone quite fast uh, than the previous two phones swiping this way we get our uh, shortcut menu you can just click on it and uh, like we did on other two phones we can actually customize this we can add a shortcut from here we have numerous shortcuts given to us by Nokia you can also add a contact from here just by uh, going into contact clicking that and uh, it will add over here you can also move uh, one of these like uh, I can just move one of these and uh, I can add another one so you see I can add um, as much shortcuts as can come on the screen okay other than that um, we have the menu and in the same way I can customize these by just clicking on them and as you can see now I can customize them and going on this side we do have the same option of a dialer of either I can have a dialer music player or the radio so uh, if I go into music player so whenever I go over here it's gonna show me the music player here okay other than this you can see that we have uh, the drop down menu over here we have our sim information over here then we have our uh, data information Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and our uh, sound information over here okay so you can see the touch is very responsive and we also have the play option to play music, call somebody or write a message right from here. So the drop down menu is pretty convenient. I uh, do like to use the drop down menu a lot. Okay. Uh, going further in, let me just show you the dialer and dialer number for you and see how this uh, its loudspeaker performs. Let's just listen. Okay, uh, then that we have the calendar over here. We have some options in the calendar. Other than that, we have uh, the um, Internet Explorer and it works very fine. Although YouTube videos do not load. So do keep that in mind. Um, I have tried, you can see YouTube, but it does not load. Okay, so let me just show you uh, any other website on this device. Uh, it loads pretty fine. So you can see over here that uh, the websites launch pretty fine. So I haven't faced any problem with the uh, browser. It works fine. You can almost go to any website with this and uh, it will show the mobile version of any website but it will show fine. We have the uh, messaging over here and as I've shown you we have the uh, alphanumeric keypad and we also have the full QWERTY keypad and we can also have the uh, landscape mode keypad 
so that's about it and we do have some options over here uh, you can see you can insert different things over here uh, just like we can do on all uh, Nokia devices then we have some options of archived messages, message settings and uh, stuff like that then we have a gallery and uh, in gallery we have pictures this is what I clicked when the, I did the unboxing and you can see the pinching and zooming in this device is very smooth because of the capacitive touch screen that is uh, let's just open a file over here and just see this this is very very smooth guys so this is very very nice that they, they have added the capacitive touch screen to help people use a good phone then we have the OV store uh, the Nokia store that is not called the OV store anymore so this is the Nokia store and uh, it does use the Wi-Fi and it loads fine we have loads of things over here they work fine with the device and the device does not play HD games so do keep that in mind we have the camera over here and as you can see I'll just show you the settings we have uh, different settings over here like uh, capture and fun pro and something like that now we, in this if you click this i button over here it's going to give you information about what these things do so here you can see it actually tells us that what these things actually mean so this is something nice that they have added this information task we can have sequence we get, this is like burst mode and we also have self timer and other than that we have some effects over here which we can apply to our uh, photos we also have some sounds and in pro we have more ways of capturing the uh, picture like we have the lighting option and uh, we have the grid option then we have the lighting option and then we have the exposure we can set the exposure to capture as much or as less light as we want and we have some settings for the uh, camera other than that we do have our uh, video uh, camera also and we have some settings for that also you can see over here we can have a uh, mic on and off pro effects these are the same as we had on the picture camera still camera and uh, some settings so that is it about the camera now here we have the settings of the device and as you can see we have the tone settings uh, we can add the tones over here and change them accordingly we have themes and themes and do do remember in themes that we only get the color themes we do not the whole theme of the device does not change only the text colors change otherwise we also have a wallpaper we have date and time information we have language settings and we have text editors uh, that is the same as we have on every keyboard we have sync and backup over here we have uh, connectivity you can connect our uh, Wi-Fi internet Bluetooth and uh, other things over here okay we have our calls over here then we have our phone settings where we have different settings of the device we also have device updates so if Nokia ever provides any updates this device will get it we also have uh, configurations security Nokia account and factory settings now do remember that this device runs on uh, Asha S40 platform so this is the operating system of this device so we also have social over here where we can add our Facebook our Twitter and our Orchid and Flickr accounts and we can chat over here so I'll just go into my uh, doctor technology account and as you can see I can uh, actually tweet from here right from here very easily okay we have the games gift as we have uh, seen on on the pre on the two of the previous Asha phones also so here is the games gift the need for speed uh, and Tetris and all those games that I have shown you previously 
uh, these all these games we get here these are 40 games and uh, some of them are trials and some of them are full games we have our alarm settings over here we have the chat settings that are the same we have uh, orchid facebook and twitter and live messenger over here so we also have maps maps require the wi-fi or anything like that to load okay we have the introduction which actually tells us about the phone itself of how to use the device so this actually tells us how to use the device okay we have our email settings over here we can have nokia mail by yahoo we have gmail live hotmail yahoo mail and other mails we can con configure over here and they work fine okay so uh, let me just show you the uh, facebook over here and as you can see we get all our feeds right over here and uh, We can also have our uh, messages over here, we have our notifications and then we also have home, friends, events and these kind of things over here. So the timeline won't show. We also have uh, the Twitter over here which I have already shown you. Uh, we also have video, now this is actually the video player. Video is actually the video camera over here. We have a radio which actually works with the headset. We have our uh, internet radio. The radio can also work with your Wi-Fi connection. We also have voice recorder and uh, logs. And then we have a timer over here. We have counters, we have files. Now here we have our memory card files over here and then we have all the files in the device we have we also have our uh, news reader we can add feeds over here to actually read the news we also have our weather settings now i love the weather app, app of uh, this device of all the asha touch series devices that i have reviewed previously now uh, you can see it is telling me about the weather over here and I can also check some of the other cool things. So you can see it actually shows the entire uh, thing through the satellite, the high temperature, the low temperatures and uh, stuff like that. We also have our uh, clockwise things. It's, it's going to show the time and then the weather. We also have our uh, graph kind of thing here. We also have some options. We also have a diamond rush over here. Then we have our uh, another green farm. And then we have our real football. Now these are demo games. So do keep that in mind. This is a game loft game. Let's play the demo. So I really don't know how to play this game but actually this is how it plays. Okay so you would have had have a little idea of how this game plays. Other than that we have a dice over here. Let me just show you this. This is also provided to us by Nokia. So what we have to do is we actually have to shake the phone to uh, get the dice rolling.
so we actually have to shake the device hard so so that we can get our turn other than that we have these uh, games over here i do have install installed whatsapp and it works fine I so guys uh, this is the lighting effect in this uh, device you can see we have a led notification light over here when we get a new sms or anything you can see i have a new sms and when that appears this light starts blinking so uh, this is the lighting effect in uh, the device which you can actually switch off by going into the settings uh, other than that this is all about this device and now okay so this was the full review of the nokia asha 311 nothing new that we have on this device it is exactly same as the previous two just that we have a better screen and capacitive touch and also a uh, upgraded camera but that's it we don't have anything else so according to me if you are gonna invest on this device then just keep in mind that you're just investing because it is nokia uh, other than that if it was me i would invest in an android device like galaxy pocket we have much much more things over there it is a much better operating system other than that this is it i hope this has been helpful if you have any questions and queries please feel free to ask and another thing skype does not work so uh, for all those people who have been asking me about this skype calling does not work on this device if you have any questions and queries please feel free to ask please do subscribe to my channel please do like my facebook page and uh, I will see you in my next video. Till then stay cool and stay happy.